been a beautiful middle October day across the area. And as we look outside right now at I-75 at State Route 65, we have plenty of blue skies and sunshine across the area. Current temperatures right now are 54 degrees. It is sunny, so it is making it that chilly air feel at least a little bit better across the area. Looking at current temperatures right now, 54 in Lima, likewise in Van Wert and Paulding, 53 in Salina, and 53 to the north up in Napoleon. Looking at satellite and radar across the area, we have lots of sunshine across the region with very limited cloud cover. And as we zoom out, we can see that area of high pressure is currently centered over Kentucky with an area of low pressure starting to set up over south central Canada. And we do have cold air that is starting to funnel southward from Canada and that will influence our weather for the next several days and lead to quite an October chill as we start the new work week. So let's look at that a little bit more detail. So right now it's chilly but it's not terribly cold but as we look to the north on Sunday this cold air from Canada will slowly slide southward and by Monday and Tuesday you will certainly feel that chill with high temperatures below the low temperature average so high temperatures may not even get into the middle 40s that chilly and cold weather will stay through the area through Wednesday and Thursday and eventually by Friday we can see from the west some milder air trying to filter in but there's still a lot of questions on when exactly that will filter in but nevertheless at least a look to be a light at the end of the tunnel and that could lead to believe it or not a little lake effect snow across the area so let's look at how lake effect occurs across the region so first, we need that warm water over the lake and cold air over the land to produce lake effect snow. So what ends up happening is that we have the cold air that moves across the lake and that warm water then allows water vapor to go into the atmosphere. That forms clouds and that forms snowflakes up in the atmosphere, which then moves downwind with the wind and deposits some snow falling from the sky. So that's how lake effect forms across the area. So let's look at skycast here. Temperatures will drop into the middle 50s through the evening. As you go to tomorrow morning, generally right around 40 degrees will be the rule. Going into Sunday afternoon, we're rising to the middle 60s. And as we zoom out into Monday morning, we can see those lake effect bands starting to set up. Now during the daytime, those temperatures will primarily favor rain. But as we go through Monday night into Tuesday morning, we could get cold enough that any of these lake effect bands that come off could be in the form of rain, rain or snow, or maybe even just plain snow showers across the area. So tonight, 41 degrees plus a night, part of the cloud a little bit cool, but by no means it will not be cold at all. Going into tomorrow, very nice high temperature 63, mostly sunny and breezy with a 10 to 20 mile per hour wind. Looking at the seven day forecast, 45 Monday, that's it for the high. A chance of showers Monday afternoon, then a mix of rain and snow showers possible Monday night into Tuesday morning. As we warm up a little bit Tuesday, that should transition to primarily just a few rain showers. High temperature, only a 44. And then very slowly, we should begin to moderate temperatures back to close to normal by next weekend. 60 on Friday and 65 by next Saturday. Sartage.